if you are sexually active and you know that you have an STD. Hold on, hold on. I know she finna say something serious. She crying like she got that shit. They ain't got no STI. They ain't got one of those. You know it's one of them serious motherfuckers. Look at the, the, the TikTok comment. That's a tit off a cow. No way that's a human tit. Already, sinners is crazy, but niggas ain't lying. Like, the shit on the left is literally like a big-ass water balloon. The baby is grabbing it, and he's also like this with it. There's so much still left at the bottom. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but it do look crazy. That's that's a crazy tit. Okay, look, it's a little better example. Look how he grabbing it. I ain't never seen a baby drink tit milk like that before. Boy, he's got his arm chilling on that whole life. It's on that bitch. Like, it's supporting his whole weight. Just got it up there. Shit look kind of good. I love that. Because when you don't, and you infect that person, you are changing their life forever, and they are making a decision that they do not know. That's why you wrap it up, kids. That's why you don't be thoughts. You know, thought he's gonna be on OnlyFans and make only bands. And now you're getting only scans. How's life with herpes? Yeah, I mean, you know what it is when you get into sex work. You know, you're gonna be out there fucking. You gotta get what come with that. You know what come with that lifestyle. You keep popping that puss on every dick you see. You just increasing the chances that you getting burnt, just like you burnt now. And you know what mama and them said? They said, boy, don't touch that stove, it's hot. You touch that stove anyway, you find out it's hot. It's not that much sympathy that can be given to you. I remember too, when I was a kid, I seen grandma touch that stove, pat it real quick to check the temperature. I don't know why I did it, but I had to go and just do it. I was just tempted to do it. I just touched that stove a little too long, Burn my ass and I found out real quick that that is stove hot and don't play with it a lot of niggas ain't learned that lesson it's crazy to me how people make these decisions and then get online and you still try to be a victim you made that decision when you decide to be an OnlyFans model you could at least do how they do when they just get you know the OnlyFans boyfriend or your regular boyfriend and turn them to an OnlyFans boyfriend you didn't want to do that you was probably popping that pussy around town making a lot of content getting around that's what happens. Niggas dirty. That's why sex work is not looked highly upon because shit like this. Like a gang member crying that he gotta go to jail. I know they do it, but they don't get no sympathy for it. Shit retarded. You thought you was gonna get in the gang and just become Bill Gates? What you think? It's jail death. That's, that's your primary options. And I thought you knew what you were signing up for. You ain't getting in this shit to be a little baby. You could think it's a lot of successful gang banger crime niggas, but it's not. Successful crime niggas is like white collar crime niggas. It's not niggas selling weed. Like this shit is going to change the rest of my life. Yeah. And there's nothing I can do. People, when they find out I'm still posting XX OnlyFans videos on Twitter, after announcing that I have genital herpes. So in one breath, you can dance around, make little faces. And on the other end, you wanna sit here and cry and talk about if you have a STD, please let people know you're, you're making a decision for them. I mean, yeah, they not off the hook either, but it's like, you wanna do this shit, you know the risk, man. I mean, you know, I don't know what else to tell your ass. You wanted to be an independent queen and get on OnlyFans and throw that ass back for some cash? Now you gotta independently deal with herpes. And I'm embarrassed. And I'm humiliated and I feel so stupid. We ain't letting her off the hook. Look at this shit. The queen of massive mommy milkers. Oh, Milk bottle crazy face. So crazy when these OnlyFans and porn people be acting like their life is so great. As if this shit don't happen on a constant, regular basis. The amount of shit y'all gotta deal with, this is not a happy-go-lucky lifestyle that y'all try to act like it is. It's more than just fucking. Fucking come with a risk. You swapping bodily fluids with other nasty-ass niggas that's fucking. Fucking, fucking. Y'all in a whole circle of niggas that's fucking a lot of people. You fucking somebody with 300 bodies. You know what I'm saying? Like, that alone is already a risk, and that's just one person. Imagine doing this consistently with people that's fucking over 400, 500. Just do the math, you know what I'm saying? The math is mathing. You got herpes, that was calculated into the risk of you doing OnlyFans. I don't know, the tears just ain't working for me today. Shit said, I guess, but 
You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, you get in that car, you drive without a seatbelt, get in an accident, your ass probably gonna die. I feel so stupid for letting someone take advantage of me in a moment of weakness. You should feel stupid for doing OnlyFans. That's what you should have been stupid for. Could have made your money another way, but you wanted to show your massive mommy milkers. And now it ain't pan out like you thought it would, huh? And now you're trying to blame somebody else, but it don't matter. This thing about life. You can blame anybody in the world that you want to for why it is what it is, but that's not going to change the result of what you get. So it don't matter who you blame. So that's why it's always best to try to blame yourself so you can hold yourself accountable so you can get the results that you actually want. It may help you cope a little better if you blame somebody else, but hey, you still got herpes. You still broke. You still fat. You can blame anybody, but you still got to eat that. You still got to keep that result that you have. So what's the point of even doing that? You better off just blaming yourself and say, let me get this shit right. Let me stop eating. Let me go on a diet. Let me work out. If I want money, it'll be easy to show my ass on OnlyFans, but I don't want no STDs. I don't want to increase the chances of that. Let me not do that. Let me just go to school. Let me try to start an online business. Could have tried anything else, but you wanted to go the easy route. But I did not consent to this. Yeah, you did. And I'm going to get justice for myself because there have been so many times in my life where I haven't. And this is not fair. And I refuse to let anybody else feel like this if I can't help it. I think that's a titty on her neck. See the two nipple dots? She has to know she's not going to get that much sympathy. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am, but... If anybody's going to catch herpes, you're the one to catch herpes. I mean, like, <laughs> come on. Like, I'm not trying to be an ass, but, like, water's wet. Thanks, thanks.